Genshin Impact is an open world RPG made by Mahoyo, which is eerily similar to a certain open world RPG made by a certain game company. Hmm? Okay, on a real though, why is Genshin so despised? I mean, it's not a bad game by any means. Grindy, sure, but it's a free to play game, and it's also a gacha game, and it also has waifus, so I mean, what else would you expect from a game like this? Maybe the sexualization of female characters? Not really. There are a few characters that do cross some boundaries, but for the most part, it's pretty tame. The gameplay? Well, no, it's a pretty game with an even prettier environment. I doubt the gameplay really deters people. It's pretty fluent and really nice to string together combos in this game. So what I really think deters people from Genshin Impact is the community. Arguably one of the worst fandoms a franchise has had to date. And we're talking about communities like Rick and Morty, alright? That's a pretty high bar. And they're vaulting right over it. Now, that is not to say that the whole community is bad. But there definitely is a yin and yang type situation going on. The amount of positive is definitely outweighed by the negative the community has done. And honestly, you might be thinking, what would a group of weebs and teenagers be able to do that would give a franchise like this such a bad reputation? Honestly, you have no fucking idea, dude. Oh! You don't remember? <laughs> So first up, you might not think Genshin fans can really harass anybody or cause any real world harm because most Genshin players like to stay on the internet where they are morally superior. While that may be true, Genshin fans not only harass each other, but harass others who work on the game. All right? They harass the voice actor Miss Niang, the voice actor for Kokomi, for, and I'm not kidding, her character being dog shit. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? That is such a stupid thing to harass a voice actor for. Because one, the voice actor doesn't have any say in that, right? They're just acting out the character. And two, they just don't deserve it. They're not responsible for a character being dog shit. If you're gonna be mad at somebody, be mad at the people that made the character, that made the game. Why are you gonna harass somebody who just voices the character and helps immerse you in the world of Genshin Impact, okay? That's just ridiculous. Now, you might think, okay, all right, they did this one time, right? And it probably sucks that it happened, but they probably learned their lesson, right? No. Alright. This was the second time it happened. Alright. A month prior to this, there are reports of the Genshin community harassing not one, not two, but six voice actors for the game. Six. How sickening is that? How depressing is that? Right? Like, I don't see... Mario fans harassing Charles Martinet, you know, I don't see that shit. It's just here. It's ridiculous. And it just got glossed over. As far as I'm concerned, the live stream is still up, by the way. You can go and view the live stream if you wanted to. It shows, there's proof, there's receipts. All right. It got so bad that some of the voice actors took to Twitter to speak out about it. It was really sad, bro. Like, honestly, if you were a part of that harassment, what the fuck, dude? That just worsens a community as a whole. No, I don't want to be a sandwich. Mm. <laughs> so these goofy-ass Genshin fans have created havoc throughout the online world, all right? They had their own kind of Rick and Morty Sheshawan sauce moment when KFC actually announced the collab with Genshin Impact. I'm sure you can imagine how that went. It probably wasn't the best thing, and it had to get shut down early due to COVID-19, you know, just being a bitch. The one thing I will give Genshin is that it's a solid game, right? It can be mid as fuck sometimes, especially when it comes to like, after early game progression, once you hit middle game, it stalls a little bit and kind of forces you to grind. And that's a bit boring, okay? It's not the pinnacle of the gaming industry, but Genshin Impact fans will defend it like it is the pinnacle of gaming. Like, this is what the PS5 and the Xbox One S were made for, to play Genshin Impact, you know? Like, 
It's ridiculous. It's a fun game, but I'm not gonna play it the whole time. And another thing, the world doesn't revolve around Genshin Impact. I feel like every time I see something Genshin related on my feed, it just is usually about Genshin and how it's so good or something self-centered about Genshin. And it gets a little annoying after a while. Like, honestly, it does. And it gives everybody who plays the game and doesn't go as crazy as some of the people that do play it second have an embarrassment. And, get this, they tried to boycott the game twice, right? Twice! Okay? The first time was because the Hilla Churls, right? One of the common enemies in Genshin were supposedly, alright? This isn't confirmed or anything, supposedly based off indigenous people. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? There's no correlation at all. This is people reaching. They weren't bad at all. They're just... Like, I look at them, they look like goblins from Clash Royale, you know what I mean? Or like, I don't even know, they don't even phase me. I did not correlate the Hillichurls to like, indigenous people at all. If you're thinking that while playing a video game, you gotta get a reality check, my friend. And this wasn't the only time they tried to boycott Genshin, alright? They tried to boycott it for claims of racism, alright? Like, my brothers in Christ, you cannot make this shit up. I can see some of the points, right? But even when I do see it, it's just grasping for straws, right? There's no real racism, okay? The claims were the skin colors of these characters were too pale, or the character was exotic. That just creates more racism. It's so stupid. I use the racism to destroy the racism. It just doesn't need to exist. The only problems I see with Genshin Impact when I play it is just how hard it is to get good. <laughs> I'm not looking for racism. I'm not looking for sexism. I'm not looking for over-sexualization. I'm just trying to play a, a game. That's it. I'm just trying to play a game because it looked fun. I'm not trying to get involved in any of this shit, man. That's the worst thing you could do, like, nitpick a game for shit that you don't like and turn it into a problem. Okay, and then what was the other reason? Oh yeah, because there was a claim of, um, you know, kid diddling because an NPC professes his love for the character Flora. But apparently, she was an adult when they were making the game, and then they turned her into a kid, and honestly, I have no idea if that's true. But I mean, it's just one character dialogue, and I mean, they don't really shy away. At the beginning of the game, there's this dialogue of a kid on a bridge, and he's like, I miss my dad! I had to stop playing after that, like, I was laughing way too much. That was fucking amazing. So, hey, maybe MiHoYo did that on purpose. Maybe they thought it was fine to leave it in there because it'd be funny. I don't know. But that doesn't mean anything. I don't think that necessarily means it's pedophilia impact, you know? I think it was just something they forgot to add. But in conclusion, alright, look, I've played Genshin Impact. It's, it's a solid game. It could be bad at times, but I mean, what gotcha game isn't bad at times, alright? I can completely understand being turned off by this game due to its community that's filled with toxicity and just hatred, alright? Now is it the whole community? No. But it is a very vocal minority, if you could call it that. I would say, like, normally, fandoms have, like, maybe 5 to 10 percent. Like, and then you have My Hero Academia with, like, 20, 25. I think Genshin Impact's right there, 25, pushing 30 percent. And even then, it's like one-fourth of your community is insanely toxic. It just drives people away. Now, there are a lot of people who play Genshin, which means one-fourth is a lot. Alright, and it just, it's mind-boggling how a community has stayed toxic for this long. Now, should that ruin your overall experience? Mm, depends, because at some point it becomes, well, if one in four Genshin players are toxic and just try to stir shit up for the sake of stirring shit, why would you want to be associated with that? Why would you want to engage with that? So, to a certain point, it can matter. But 
I think you should try Genshin. If it's not the game for you, it's not the game for you, but it's an okay game. Just avoid the community, all right? So in conclusion, Genshin is mid. Its fan base is toxic and mid. And Ember's best girl. I'm sorry. It's just facts, yo. I don't write the rules. All right, take care. Brains.